Hey you guys. Yes, your girl is back with another review. This one is about um Mayor to Medicine. The thing is is that they're still in New Orleans. It's supposed to give you life and everything else. It's just that it was just a couple of things that kind of annoy me about it. Um they was getting wasted or whatever, but who got the wasted? I think was Toya and everything else. Um, the party girl, which, you know, I do like Toya and everything, but it just seemed like that from um, the end, maybe towards the end of the night or whatever, they had enough of Toya shenanigans and all this other stuff. Maybe things that we didn't see, but, you know, they, um, I, I don't know if it was Simone or Toya. I think it was Simone I did to do the Swamp Tour, you know, um, Jackie was like, she's not for it and everything else. And it's just like, I think at one point, at one point of time, even Simone was getting aggravated. She was like, Jackie, you know, can you just lift your head down? Cause she's like, I can't get with it. She started laying down and I get it, you know, because I'm fearful of a lot of things and, um, dealing with animals because animals are very unpredictable, but I felt like that if you did want to be there and they brought you out there you should have just stayed in the bus but it's just like how did they how did she not know she was going there i don't know but it was like kind of getting on my nerves and how she was acting on the you know it was just like jackie laying down you know and everything else but you know simone was you know really enjoying the swamp thing and all this other stuff it was interesting but was it necessary not really because i could have moved on to another scene so it was like um, like Miss Dr. Jack say, she's an indoor person. She's not an outdoor person. So I get it. But it's like, you only have one life to live, Dr. Jack. Let's go along with it. Then it was interesting because somebody was like, that's, that's Mariah over there. Or whatever. I guess call him one of the alligators and all this other stuff. But, you know, Toya was like, well, I hope they, you know, take it easy that Mariah is coming on this trip, you know, and everything else. So Mariah ends up arriving to the hotel. You know, she's going into Toya with, she looking around, you know, being playful and everything. And when the women got back, they wasn't ready to receive Mariah. It was like, where, where the hell did she come from? That's how they was looking, you know. So it was just very interesting how um, Qua was saying, like, she really wasn't, you know, looking, you know, like, even though that she was there and everything else, they kept passing by each other. And it was just very weird because it was like Mariah and Quad was Miss Quad, Miss Quad. She got it. She got it. They was like that, you know, but it's like they still haven't rebuilt their relationship, their friendship. Don't know when it's going to happen, but I hopefully... Hopefully it will happen. Time can heal anything because look at Toya out of all people trying to bring them together. That's why I remember with the first episode and I couldn't get into it because it was so embarrassing how they got into it. Fighting and everything else. But, you know, but look at how time healed their relationship, their friendship and everything. And she was just trying to get everybody on board because like Toya was saying, this was about women coming together, you know, getting their voices, you know, heard and all of this other stuff, a cool by cool by ya moment, but apparently they wasn't ready for to receive Mariah, which Mariah ran Jackie a wrong way because Mariah ran, I mean, gave Jackie two cents. And what I'm getting from Dr. Jackie is that Dr. Jackie, you know, a, a lot of times, even Simone, when the doctors, their personalities, they never want. It's like, it's God here, God is here, and then it's doctors. And they carry that over and you could see it, you know, whatever. And in, in the field I'm in, I pretty much know how doctors, um, you know, sometimes they could be a little something. So I'm just like, I don't know. I want to say, Dr. Jackie, I just need more. And she's not giving me that. It's like, you know, she wants to put people in a place, but she don't want you to put her in a place and everything. And quad over that crime well let me just get to this heavenly always trying to read somebody in their marriages and everything else and she was like maybe y'all having problems because you're not trying to give him no um uh, kid because he's he's like almost 50 if he's not 50 
Paul was like, you know, getting upset about that and was like, well, maybe she can't have kids. And they was like, no, she can. Her and Contessa was talking. So they pretty much made up and everything else. And everything was like water up under the bridge. But then it was like with this happening, she telling Heavenly, you know, maybe, you know, she was like, well, that's her uterus. Maybe, you know, she don't want to talk about it and all this other stuff. But it's it seems like that. It's such a touchy topic, and I get it. When people are asking, like, when you going to have some kids or whatever, I always tell them, when I'm going to get a husband, you know, because who's down for the single parent? And I raise my hat off to single parents and everything and stuff like that, but I'm just like, you know, I just know it's a lot of requirement and everything. And sometimes when you're married, sometimes it's still on the wife, you know? So that's how I feel about that, but it's like, Every year, it's always an excuse with Quad about not having kids. Like, my cousin was like, she just don't want to have none with Dr. Gregory. And I'm starting to believe that, too. But then it's like, it's like she don't really want to say, but it's like it's always all these excuses or she get upset about it. If you don't want kids, then I understand. But if it's like you're trying to wait for the right moment, it's like you're in your five-year marriage and people say those first five years are hard, but I feel like that from what my grandmother say, when a woman really loves a man, she don't mind giving him a baby, you know, and from the looks of it or whatever. And I know some people that try to keep a, try to keep that guy because they love him because a woman never really kept a, uh, um, a baby unless. I, well, I don't want to say that, but most of the time of the experience that I know with females that I know personally, it's like if it's with a certain guy that, you know, oh, he just something to do. They're not trying to have a kid with him. But if it's one guy that they really like and they're trying to hold on to him, they love him or whatever, they really want to give him a baby. And I'm just saying on um, by experience on um, personal things that I've seen over the years. OK, so I'm just like they're married. They've been married for five years. It's always seemed like that there's a rift. And it's like, are you happy? Do you want to be with him, Cora? Because I don't understand. Because I was telling my cousin, I was like, if she doesn't want, she was like, I'm telling you, she just don't want to have one with him. But it's like, if you don't want to have one with him, then why are you with him? Because I thought like if you're married to a person that maybe this is somebody you want to build with, build a family with, but you know, she saying that, you know, how he treats her, how he talks to her and everything. It's like, how much can you take? I mean, first of all, he has a sultry voice. And what I mean by that is that he doesn't have bass in his voice. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is it? And because his tone is so kind of higher than the altos. And he sounds like a pretty cool dude, but... What is it that he's actually saying to you? And then is he, because how she's making it seem like he's verbally abusing her. That's what it's coming across. And it's like, quite on this other talk shows that I have seen you on, on these radio shows, you really have a mouthpiece on you. And you always seem like you're independent. You're running the world. You're doing this and that. So it's like, why are you still with Gregory? Because it doesn't feel like you really love him. But you're saying that you need the attention. So it's just so many dynamics there that I can't put my hand on. And usually I'm right about stuff. But one thing I'm right about is some fishy going on in that household. So it's like either you want him or you don't want him. You know, that's what it feels like. And are you there because it's comfortable? I We understand you got good credit and you can live wherever you want to live. But, you know, I don't know. It's just something weird about that. I would like for both of them to be happy. If she not going to give him one or whatever, I just feel like if you're not going to be happy, then let him go. You know, so he can find happiness, you find happiness. And you can find somebody who you want to breed with or whatever have a children child with because bringing a child in this world is a lot of responsibility but it's like it's always an excuse each and every year and it's i feel like you're running out of excuses like i'm so over it so heavenly and contessa was going back and forth and heavenly was telling her you need to shut up you know and contessa's like no you need to shut up which i do not blame her one bit because you have a lot of nerve. You rude, Heavenly. I like Heavenly, but Heavenly is too rude, and she'll make somebody smack 
her in her face because you don't tell you don't tell her you're not talking to your kid. Telling somebody to shut up is very rude. It's like the next thing in spitting in somebody's face. Something you don't do, you know. So, but like I say, they made up and everything. Mariah coming on the scene. If the air, all the girls need time, you know. Her and um, Toya are in a great place. But see, the thing about Mariah is that she gives me that she's still a sn I don't want to say a snake, but like a scorpion. You know that they're going to bite you. Because, you know, she used to, like, say a lot of ugly shade about Toya. You know, even when Toya was trying to be her friend again and everything else. But it's like the women need time. And I feel like nobody really wants to film with Mariah. That's why she's not on the show. And let's not forget, she was throwing shade on them about being Bank of America. Maybe because she was um, a lighter virgin and maybe they didn't want her or whatever. But they all look like, you know, um, women that work for Bank of America, you know. But I'm, that was the only thing that I was getting from this. One thing that I did, like, I guess all the men were sitting down. They All the husbands were together while their wives were out. And the guys, they are so cool. Even that the heavenly husband seemed like he's cool, he's cool. But they were just saying, you know, the Curtis situation with Jackie is affecting their households too. And, you know, Dr. Gregory was, you know, coming to them, you know, because they were all talking about their kids and how um, Dr. Damon, which is heavenly husband, how their son has went off to college, you know, Cesar and Simone, um, I guess he's a great influence. They, um, that he's a great influence on their children. They going off to college. Then it would be, you know, Eugene and Toya's, you know, kids going off to as well. And then it's like Dr. Gregory sitting there. Like, you know, he wants kids and he was just saying maybe because he didn't, he wasn't raised, I guess, with a lot of me, women, uh, positive roles in his life. And he really don't understand, like, I guess some things, I guess, what Quad is coming from or whatever. I just hope that they can move past this and I just hope that she will find it in her heart because she says she won't kids and maybe it's some things that she feel like he needs to work on and everything. And he's realized that it's some things that he, he needs to work on. They're not talking about it. It's their business, but I hope whatever it is, they can move past it and, you know, get that man a baby. You know, if you decide that you're going to stay with him and everything and y'all can move past it. And I just feel like that have y'all considered therapy. I mean, he is a therapist and sometimes them therapists, because I work around therapists too, you know, they're human. They go through things. And I just believe that maybe that's just, you know, they got lives too. You know, even though that's their practice, but they need help too. You know, we all need help. We're all trying to get through this thing that's called life. So that's what I gather from it. They wasn't really giving me life on this episode, but I did like... The guy sitting down. Now, one thing I do, did like about that, I, about that, that was showing positive unity of black brothers together, you know, and everybody is doing something. And they had Dr. Contessa husband on that. He's a doctor too. He was like, his wife can hold her on. She thinks very highly of the women that she's with. And I was like, yeah. And I would like to see more of that because that's one thing that I did miss about housewives with the husbands and everything. I would like to see more of the husbands engaging more as a unit, you know, seeing them do things together as well. But that was it. That's all I gathered from that. But I'm not going to hold you guys up. Hopefully, um, I hear from you guys. Put Leave me some comments. Let me know. Did you like this episode or not? And I'm done. Have a good one. Bye.